So Kamala just did a two hour self aggrandizing worship session disguised as a town hall with Oprah Winfrey, where she said this. I think for far too long on the issue of gun violence, some people have been pushing a really false choice to suggest you're either in favor of the Second Amendment or you want to take everyone's guns away. I'm in favor of the Second Amendment and I'm in favor of assault weapons bans, universal background checks, red flag laws. And these are just common sense. These are just common I sense. I thought it was so powerful at the convention when you, when, when you said you have guns. No, at the debate. At the I'm, debate I'm a gun you, owner. Tim Rawls is a gun. I did not know that. <laughs> if somebody and I thought that breaks in my house, they're getting shot. <laughs> For f**k's sakes. Kamala Harris is such a damn pander bear. I haven't seen pandering this obvious since the other panda bear, Hillary Clinton, said this. What's, what's something that you always carry with you? Hot Just sauce. Really? You, yeah. Yeah. Really? Are yeah. you getting information right now? <laughs> Hot sauce. <laughs> Hot sauce wow. in my bag, swag? Hot sauce. Really? Yes. Now, yes. listen, I just want you. Now, are people really falling for this? I mean, Kamala Harris is the vice president of the United States. Of course, if someone comes into her home, they're going to be shot. She's got a secret service detail the size of a small army. Kamala Harris ain't shooting shit herself. If someone breaks into her house, she'll be tucked safely behind a wall of bodyguards, sipping a latte, complaining about coffee cup lipstick while they handle the situation. So you know how those lids on those Starbucks cups, they're white, right? And so if you wear lipstick, they get all over the lid. And so then I find myself in meetings if I'm the only woman and that's kind of, and so I keep taking the lid off and having my cup out so that I don't have that big lipstick mark on the lid. <laughs> Let's be real people. Kamala Harris has no idea what it's like for everyday Americans when it comes to protecting themselves. She doesn't need to. She's surrounded by people with guns 24 seven. Not to mention, this is the same woman who says her gun is always locked up and unloaded. How is she supposed to get to her gun in time if it's locked up and unloaded? Again, she's full of shit. That said, I can see keeping your guns locked up when you're transporting them or you're forced to put them in your car because of a stupid gun-free zone. And that's why at shop.mrcoleonnoir.com, we carry a um, line of portable gun safes like this LifePod safe, which is a great lightweight portable safe that you can use at home, in your car, or whenever you might need it. As you can see here, you got the gun, perfectly compact. You can store other stuff in there if you want to as well. Now, not too long ago, I had my car broken into and they stole everything except the gun I had in um, this LifePod XT safe. Oh, they tried to break into this as well, but they couldn't and they couldn't take it because I used the security cable that it comes with to lock the safe into my car. All of these safes are available right now, shop.mrcoleonnoir.com, but I'll put a link in the description section of this video. Now, Kamala has spent her entire career pushing for gun control. Let's not forget, this is the same Kamala Harris who in 2008 fought against the Heller decision, trying to keep people from having handguns in their own homes. Yes, you heard that right. She can have a gun to shoot people that come into her home, but she didn't want you to have a gun to protect your family. The same Kamala that has consistently said she wants to confiscate guns. 94 assault weapons ban, it didn't apply. To, to, to weapons that were purchased before 1994. What would you do about the millions of specifically assault weapons right. that are already in circulation? What do you do about those? Well, there are approximately 5 million to your point, Craig. We have to have a buyback program and I support a mandatory buyback program. It's gotta be smart. We gotta do it the right way. So a buyback program I, is a good idea. Now we need to do it the right way. Like how many times does this woman need to say this on camera for people to accept it and understand that this is what she believes. What she's doing here is what I call the pandering pivot. She has years of footage and articles and documents proving she's an extremist and wants to confiscate guns and she knows she's losing the liberal gun owning voters who are on the fence about her. So now she's trying to act like she's one of them. She wants to say, don't worry, I'm not gonna take your guns. Look, I have guns too. But anyone who knows her history knows she's an anti two way extremist. She's just trying to fool people into thinking she's more moderate than she really is. But here's where the whole thing just falls apart for me. 
I want you to listen to how Kamala talks about governments having no right to tell you what to do with your body, i.e. abortion, versus the government telling you what you can use to protect your body, i.e. the Second Amendment. Laws that make no exception even for rape or incest, which means that you're telling a survivor of a crime of a violation to their body that they have no right to make a decision about what happens to their body next, which is immoral. So when it comes to abortion, the government needs to stay out of my life. But when it comes to millions of people who buy AR-15s to protect their god life, all of a sudden she says this. And Congress needs to have the courage to act and renew the assault weapons ban. She never once says, I support your right to defend your home, no. It's all about her. If someone breaks into my house, they're getting shot. If and somebody I thought breaks in my house, they're getting shot. <laughs> Notice how she doesn't say everyone should have the right to defend their home with a firearm and the government has no right to tell you what gun you use to protect your family. That's the real giveaway. Kamala Harris is fine with guns when it's there to protect her. But when it comes to guns there to protect you, she wants them gone. Look, owning a gun doesn't make you pro Second Amendment. How many times do I have to say this? It's not enough to just have guns. You have to believe in the right of the people to own them. Kamala Harris has never believed in that right. She spent her entire career fighting against it. But now, because she needs some left-leaning gun owners to feel comfortable voting for her, she's trying to act like she's part of the club. It's a classic bait and switch. How is not anybody seeing this? <laughs> and you know what this reminds me of? Karl Marx. Yeah, Marx himself, the father of communism. He was technically pro-gun. He once said, under no pretext should arms and ammunition be surrendered. Any attempt to disarm the workers must be frustrated by force if necessary. But like Kamala, he wasn't pro-gun because he believed in the individual right to own a firearm. Marx was all about guns because he wanted the working class to rise up and overthrow the government. He was cool with people having guns as long as it served his agenda. And the moment they got power, what did Marxists do? They disarmed everyone as fast as they could. We have real world examples of this. In his essay letters from afar, Vladimir Lenin, a Marxist and the leader of the Bolsheviks, told people to arm themselves so that they could take control of the government. But after he came to power, Lenin changed his mind. On December 10th, 1918, just months after the Bolsheviks killed Tsar Nicholas II and his family, Lenin's government told everyone to turn in their guns or face 10 years in prison. So the same guy who wanted people armed to fight for change quickly took their guns away once he was in power. This is exactly what Kamala Harris is doing. She's trying to use guns as a tool to get votes so she can gain the power of the presidency. But the second she's in office, you can bet she's coming for your guns. She said this. History is full of examples of Marxists disarming the very people they claimed to empower once they were in control. Lenin did it in Russia. Mao did it in China. Castro did it in Cuba. It's the same playbook every single time. They preach revolution with guns and then the moment they get what they want, they snatch the guns away and leave the people defenseless. Kamala's no different. She's pretending to be pro-gun now because she needs those moderate voters. But if you think she's going to let you keep your guns, <laughs> you're dreaming. She's a Marxist in disguise, and she's only pro-gun as long as it helps her. Just like Karl Marx, she's only for guns when they're tools for giving her power. But the second they become a threat to her power, <laughs> she's taking them bad boys away. You don't believe me? Just look at her record. Every piece of gun control legislation she has supported has been about limiting your rights, not protecting them. And as somebody who claims to support the Second Amendment, that, those two ain't jiving for me. That doesn't make any sense. And no point in your history of you being in public office have you ever once purported to do something that actually protected the Second Amendment. Not once. Yeah, nah, I'm not buying it. So don't fall for this nonsense. Kamala Harris is playing a game and the stakes are your Second Amendment rights. Sure, she'll get up there in front of Oprah and say, I'm a gun owner. But the truth is, she doesn't believe in your right to be one. Don't let her fool you with this fake tough guy routine. She's pandering, plain and simple. And if you fall for it, you're gonna wake up one day wondering what happened to all of my rights? The real Kamala Harris is the one who's been pushing for gun control her entire career. This, this is just another smoke screen to get what she wants. Don't buy it. But definitely don't forget to go buy your little LifePod Voltec XD case and also a little life pod case here as well. And, um, you know, if you're wondering where you can get your Need Money for Pew Pew hoodies, 
put a link in the description section of this video. Politicians and tech giants don't want gun content to be recommended to you. And we're all fighting this culture war together. Now you can help do your part by liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel, but most importantly, sharing this video with at least one person. Together we can stop the suppression of our two-way rights. And don't forget to click the link in the description section of this video for the products that I mentioned in this video.